this purpose, arrange meeting in the school, colleges, societies, big, big halls, because <coughs> they may not come. They are not attracted to the tem- temple meetings. They think this temple is a temple, some priestly class. They want philosophy, logic, science, so they have to be convinced. Not sentiments. So, those who are advanced, they are not in favor of religious sentiments because they have got experience now, uh, some sentiments. But they do not understand what is this sentiment. Therefore, they have to be understood uh, through logic, philosophy, science. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Meeting a week from Saturday. Huh. Where? Well, it's on Marine Drive. Huh. Uh, somebody just became a life member, mm. but he's inviting 600 guests mm. on the terrace of the building. Very good. This kind of meeting should be there. Hare Krishna. Also our business to kill all undesirable so-called samis, yogis, avatars. Hare Krishna. Jaya. Yeah. What is that? Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna who had vented himself just yes. to kill all undesirable elements in the world. Hare Krishna. Who is this part? Self just to kill all yeah. the... Similarly, this movement is advanced to kill all the so-called yogis, samis, avatars, rascals, who have philosophers, commentators, who have to kill. Kill means, where is the tilak? We did not have tilak in the morning. Uh, so, this is our one of the items, uh, to vanquish all these rascals, so-called samis. They, they say that, why you criticize others? Because you have to vanquish them. Uh, now these people cannot rise. When there is sunrise, there is no use of these glow arms. So this Krishna consciousness movement is Krishna himself. Therefore, they must be finished all over the world. So-called religionists, so-called philosophers, so-called avatars, samis, yogis, finish. Our program should be like that. All these rascals anymore to flourish. That is one of our programs. Garuda put some nectar yeah. on the tree to preserve it. Yeah. Nectar, ambrosia. Amrita, Amrita. Yes, Amrita means spiritual. But this grief is for Krishna. Yes. When you are Therefore, it is spiritual. Uh, the gopis became in grief when yes. Krishna went away. That's what. <coughs> Samtal is Krishna. I want to read this Srimad Bhagavad ah. five times. Oh, yeah. One year. Really? It will be very good. Srimad-Bhāgavatam avalam purāna. Avalam. There is no 
ब्लैक स्पॉट अवलम पुरा जज वैष्णवानाम प्रियम मवक्थ भक्त नामानिनंत जसंकिता जत सिन्नति गायंती गृहंति साधन इन इन देर इज सम ब्रोकन लैंग्वेज अबद्ध भक्त अबद्ध नॉट सिस्टमेटाइज बिकॉज देर इज एक्सप्लेनेशन नामानि अनंत जसंकिता देर फॉर सिन्नति गायंती गिनंति साधन Sadhu, they do not take care of the language. They see the what is the bhava there. Buddha bhava samanita. Hare Krishna. One saint has said, "Why do you want to go after something? There is all, the practice is all right if you are merged with God." Yes, yeah, that is real thing. God is not concerned with any language. Out of fear, they could only cry in Hare agony. Hare. Stand erect on the bank. Oh, that is good. That is right. That is right. Ah. Unable to help their beloved Krishna, while this scene was taking place on the bank of the Jamuna, there were ill omens manifest. The earth trembled, meteors fell from the sky, and the bodies of men shivered. The boy has got alarm without his elder brother. Is it? There is anxiety also. <laughs> Even though they have, they, they, they have realized extraordinary quality of the sun, but they have not been able to think that he is God in God. That it means these things, these sentiments, anxiety, grief, anger, all these things. They, they are constant companion. It is a living entity. You cannot give it up. But when they are used for Krishna, there is purpose. That is upadeshan. Without any dazing me. Prabhupada, we're only neophytes. How can we know if our anxiety is uh, still material when we feel anxiety in devotional service? No, no. If you feel anxiety for Krishna, then that is not material. That anxiety is not. That is love. That is pure love. Why you become anxious for our children? Because there is love. So. Whole scheme is that you have to transfer your attachment to Krishna. All vritti should be directed yeah. to the sacred feet of Krishna. Yes. Maya sattva mana prathu yoga yunya. This is this is called bhakti yoga. Maya sattva. The asakti, the attachment, is for so many things. Now you have to concentrate concentrate it on Krishna. This is bhakti yoga. Maya sattva mana prathu yoga yunya madas. Uh, simply by this concentration of our attraction to Krishna, you become liberated. This is the point. Asking perpetual thinking of Krishna. Yeah. Is not, then when you think of Krishna, oh, you yeah, think of Krishna, Krishna, you are on the transcendental position. You are not in the material world. Mancha bhavi charini bhakti yogi na ja sevate sa gunan samatita yeta. He is immediately transcendental to all the qualities of material world. Then he becomes Brahma Bhuta. Yes. So if you continuously, that is our Krishna consciousness moment. If you continuously remain yourself, thinking of Krishna, smartabbo satato vishnu, vishmartabbo najatuchi. This is the process. You have to think of Krishna always. The yogis and others. They artificially, for a certain time, fifteen minutes, twenty minutes, or half an hour, they think of Krishna by meditation, and then engage again in the material activities. But here, the yogis have got difficulty because uh, they get helpful to bhakti. That is why they are. I am mean, uh, getting sidetracked. They think that these are the processes, mechanical process. Krishna bhakti is not mechanical; it is spontaneous. Uh, When you spontaneously think of Krishna, that is perfect. Ab bhavija. Oh pratihata. Yes. Without any 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 identity for Krishna. 
that's what it is that way. All manavurtis should be ah. concentrated to that. Ask that Krishna. Feet you have written very well about it. Only you must look to that. Mahal, nobody can be saved from the hands of Madan. Yes. Madan and Mahan we have to see. Yesterday we talked about, about these things that you say that in perfection, they think of Krishna that he is our child. Now he is going to be man. Because he had, he had come, he, it was very late to come back from. from Same sentiment, but in relation with Krishna. These sentiments are not absent in American society these days. That is why these boys are neglected by the parents. Because of our Vedantis, they were small children, women, village persons, and animals. But there is so much, a, I mean to say, a thought, I mean to say, full with the Krishna consciousness. That is the perfection. Then they became so anxiety is also thinking of Krishna. Nothing else but Krishna. How Krishna was smiling with us, how he was playing. That is natural. If you have what got love for anyone. What will happen to us when yeah. not <laughs> Thinking of Krishna. Everything is there, but center round Krishna. Govinda Birahena. Sunnaitam Jagat Sadmam. That is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's teaching. Sunnaitam Jagat Sadmam Govinda Birahena. By Govinda's separation, whole world is void. These are exhibited in the person of in, the... Very well described in... in Krishna has gone. I said that. This is Govinda Birahena. Oh, what is the use of living if Krishna is gone? He was just a boy of five, six, six seven years. About a hundred hoods. How could Krishna manage all of those hoods? Uh, then you do not understand Krishna. <laughs> <laughs> you are trying to understand Krishna from your point of view. Uh, Kal Kaliya may have unlimited number of hoods, still Krishna can expand himself. That is Krishna. You are thinking Krishna from your stand standpoint of view. <coughs> so he did it, he expanded himself. Oh yeah. That is Did the residents of Vrindavan see the many expansions, or did they only see one Krishna? They may see one. That is not very difficult to understand. Just like Arjuna saw the Virat Rupa of Krishna, and Allah saw Krishna as chariot driver. Others saw Krishna as the chariot driver. Chariot driver, driver that's all. But Arjuna saw the chariot uh, driver. Those are Krishna conscious people. They are seeing of Krishna, an ordinary man seeing of Krishna, there is much difference. They think, that, what is this? A boy, a village boy they are worshipping. One so called Sadhu uh, uh, Haridhar, he has remarked like that. The Bhaktivedanta Swami is worshipping a rural boy. That was in the Times. <laughs> the Times. Music, yes. a rural guy. Yes. Another thing we were discussing yesterday yes. is that in Goloka there are no demons. Huh? No. There cannot be any demons. Then how it is? Vaikuntha. Yes. Vaikuntha means without any anxiety. So, the <coughs> situation of anxiety is created by the demons. Therefore, when Krishna wants to fight, he has to come down here. 
because there is no question of fighting. There is no chance of fighting. Everyone is devotee. A devotee will never agree. <laughs> but <laughs> they will agree, Krishna is here, but here, in this field. But the sentiment of anxiety uh, or fear for Krishna, yeah. is that sentiment in Goloka? Uh, no, there is no sentiment. That is separation, just like gopis, they are full of anxiety. Oh, Krishna has gone to the pasturing ground. That anxiety is there. As I look mini, she was thinking, oh, Krishna may not give me up. He's talking in this way, he fancy fainted. So anxiety is there. So that the anxiety is that one may not be separated from Krishna. That is anxiety. And actually there is no separation. But the feeling of separation out of ecstatic love, this one who has got love for the other person, beloved. He always thinks like that. My beloved, beloved may not be separated from me. This is ecstasy of love. Just like a miser man who has got much wealth, he, he always thinks, my money may not be lost. My money may not be lost. Uh, out of his too much attachment for the money, he thinks like that. Is it not? Uh, uh, how shall I protect this money? How shall I protect this? Uh, to earn money is also troublesome. To keep money is also troublesome. And when it is lost, that is also troublesome. This is the position. But there is no such thing, loss. But the anxiety is there. Hmm. We shall return from here. So, both the sadhu and the duskritina, by Krishna's two activities, uh, differently to the devotees and to the demons, they realize that is their uh, achievement. They, by punishment, this Kaliya realize oh, Krishna is the Supreme Lord. And the devotees, by out of love, they realize. Therefore, Krishna is absolute. In either process, he is realized. Mama Vartvanu Vartanti Manusha Partha Sarvas. If one is sincere, then they gradually make progress. Yeah. O oh Lord, you have descended especially for the purpose of annihilating all kinds of disturbing elements within the world. And because you are the absolute truth, there is no difference between your mercy and punishment. The surgical operation is there. The knife is being used on the body. That means he's getting relief. It is not punishment. Hare Krishna. Oh, you both busy. That's science. Hare Krishna. Benefit coming, uh, is that benefit coming in all suffering or only when it yes, is given when by Krishna? suffering given by Krishna, therefore a devotee uh, does not take seriously suffering. A devotee thinks it is the favor of Krishna that he has put me into suffering. They never see suffering as suffering. It is favor of Krishna. That is devotee's vision. Uh, because directly under exactly Krishna. Like the, uh, a son who knows his father well, if his father slaps, the son never protests. He knows that it is good for him. <laughs> a devotee never is disturbed when there is suffering. Given by Krishna. 
army is suffering just the, and the Kormi laws is of bad. Kormi is suffering. Uh, he's suffering. Just the criminal is suffering. The criminal is given slap by the police. That slap, and the father is giving slap. That slap is different. Uh, all the looks the same thing, but there is great difference. So there's no benefit to suffering unless it's connected with Krishna. Yeah, and Krishna. Therefore, we, we shall fully surrender to Krishna, as Bhaktivinoda Thakur said, "Marobi rakhobi joy chakwara." Now I surrender. Now, if you want to uh, maintain me, that is all right. And if you want to kill me, that is also all right. This is surrender. It is not business. If you maintain me, then I surrender. If you kill me, then I do not. It is not like that. Marobi, Rakhobi, Jai Chhatva. Now, as you like. If you want to maintain, that is also good. If you want to kill, that is also good. This is devotee's view. Someone might say, but if, if one is surrender, why should Krishna give him trouble? Yes, it is because he is always free. Why do you make Krishna dependent on your so so called goodwill? The Krishna must give me all his pleasure. This is sense gratification. This is sense gratification. Then you approach Krishna for your comfort, sense gratification. That is not bhakti, that is sense gratification. Maharaj was given suffering by his father so harshly, but he never said, oh, I am devotee of Krishna giving me so much love, uh, give it up. He never said that. Neither he asked Krishna to come and save him. That is Krishna book. The Pandavas, the Pandavas, they were always with Krishna and they were suffering. They never ask Krishna that you are the Supreme and why you are suffering. Never said. Never said. That is Krishna Bhakti. Because you are the absolute truth, there is no difference between your mercy and punishment. Yeah, this is the understanding. Understand the supreme personality called the absolute truth. Then the, this is understanding that either suffering or enjoying it is all Krishna's mercy. There must be some purpose. When Krishna puts me into suffering, there must be some purpose. So we should welcome because it is Krishna's mercy. Tatte nu kampa susamekshamana bhunyana yivatma kritang nipa. Misdeeds. It is Krishna's mercy that He is reforming me a slightly suffering. I, I, I would have suffered very greatly on account of my past deeds, but He is kindly uh, accommodating me by giving little suffering. Yes, sir. By the that this creature appearing in the body of a serpent must have been overburdened with all kinds of sin. Otherwise, how could he have the body of a serpent? Your dancing on his hood reduces all the sinful results of actions caused by his having this body of a serpent's way. To become angry by Krishna. <laughs> Is auspicious. Auspicious. Very, very nice bars. It is very auspicious that you have become angry upon him. He is getting salvation. The punishment of Krishna, one had to execute many past activities in his past life just to get the punishment of Krishna. And what to speak of love of Krishna. 
How much part has actually this one has to do? If for being punished by Krishna, one has to undergo lots of past activities in the past life, then just see, to be loved by Krishna, how much one has to uh, undergo past activities? Krita punya punya, that is described. Krita punya punya. Punya punya means hips or volumes, volumes of past activities. Then one can come to Krishna. Jisha mantra gatam papam jananam punna karma. Nobody can come to Krishna unless he has background of past activities. <coughs> and one has become free from all sinful activities. This is the qualification. Some of our disciples, huh? it seems that in this life they did many sinful activities. Huh? I said, but because they have surrendered, all sinful activities is counteract. Angtva sarva pape bhamakush. Anyone surrendered sincerely to the lotus feet of Krishna, immediately he becomes free from all reaction on sinful life. Because he said, Angtva sarva pape bhamakush. Ma sucha. Don't worry. This is the process. So, however, one might have. Uh, done or executed so many sinful activities, if he fully surrenders to Krishna, then everything is counteracted immediately. But not that repetition that I surrender to Krishna, then again I do some sinful activities and again I surrender. This business will not be allowed. This is called Namnad Bala Jasahi Papu Buddhi. There is the greatest sin. Uh, on the strength of Krishna's mercy, go on repeating sinful activity. That is the greatest sin. Krishna can excuse you. But you don't make it business that I commit all sinful activities and surrender to Krishna to counter it. No, this is not good. This is this will not be allowed. But you cannot cheat him. Then he will suffer. <coughs> Been pleased by his undergoing all kinds of penances and austerities, and he must have executed universal welfare activities for all living creatures. The Nagapatnis confirm that one cannot come in contact with Krishna without having executed pious activities in devotional service in his previous lives. <coughs> Double feature <coughs> is not understood by the Mahavad. The Krishna has created the whole So why he should be separate? <coughs> he is not separate. He is still separate. This book, Krishna, he will be liberated. Simply by reading this book. Narration of the Kaliya serpent and his punishment will need fear no more the envious activities of snakes. The Lord also declared, if one takes a bath in the Kaliya lake, where my cowherd boyfriend and I have bathed, or if one, fasting for a day, offers oblations to the forefather from the water of this lake, he will be relieved from all kinds of sinful reactions. Actually, are devotees, or how do they become demons? Uh, are they devotees? <coughs> Obviously, Kali is just like giant Vijay, they were devotees. Mm. And due to some offense, then they became demons and they fought with Krishna to satisfy Krishna. Anyone who is living in this material world is a demon. Hare Krishna. 
Are you mother? Jerome. Are you? Only certain demons get to fight with Krishna. Mm -hmm. Only certain demons get to fight with Krishna. Mm -hmm. Yes. That is special demon. Yeah. So <laughs> those special demons. Yes. Are they just are they all like giant Vijay? Are they all in that position? No, not that special. But to get to fight with Krishna, they must have performed many pious activities. Yes. Like Kaliya. So then if they've performed so many pious activities, then obviously they have done something very mischievous in order to take this demon's body. There's some fall down. Yeah. Without some mischievous activities. 